even found herself moving ever closer to the darkened heart of Five Tropolis. Wherever the Gluer was, he was... Hey, hey! I'm trying to tell a story here! Hey, hey, hey! Don't touch me! No! No! Even! Anyone? I don't know, Dicey. I just suddenly felt weirdly a alone. In a way I can't explain. If that makes sense. I'm lucky I have you. Someone just walked over my grave. I've got a bad feeling, Dicey. It was hopeless. And it underlined the one universal truth. Even could never defeat the Queen. She'd sooner topple a mountain with her breath than succeed. The card makers had given her a hopeless task. And the fool's Sisyphean efforts, full of sound and fury, would amount to nothing. Oh! 
suddenly even realized what an awful person she was. She decided to lie down and die Dives right away. Oh. I don't know, Dicey. Just a random bad mood, I guess. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the leader of the Cult of Three Heads. I have devoted my life towards the one truth that lives in three bodies. Those of the Eternal Heads of Three. Few have. They're mostly forgotten by those who toil in this factory. In times long past, the heads would be worshipped. But now, now I am their last follower. The last to recognize the three heads of body none. <laughs> the visionary is blind. He sees the world as it is, whereas the three dark heads see the world as it can be, must be, a world that would drive any other head insane to glimpse even the portion of it. You have not met the divine yet, Wanderer, and know this, if you do, you will not be ready. The visionary is nowhere near the Three Heads. The Three Heads have their origins in shadow, and their interests lie beyond the ability for those such as us to understand. But they are returning. Every day their power grows stronger, and when they return, truth will follow in their wake. Some religions comfort, others advise. But the true religion tells the truth. And on that day of their return, the three heads will tell it. The stars have already gone out, little one. News of their end simply hasn't reached us yet. But it will. And until then, in the light of stars long dead, we wait.
Horribly amazing, you mean? <laughs> yeah, it is. Only, uh, I'm a little lost. Can you help me? Thanks, even. Okay, so, I've got a string I'm leaving behind for safety, so I can always get back to here. But I don't know where here is, and I don't want to be here. I want to be there. One Croft, home. I'm adventuring home, even, to safety. Lead me to adventure just like you led yourself, okay? Okay, so, it's pitch black. I feel like I'm likely to be eaten by something. There's two paths here, left and right. To the left is, uh, I want to say, growling. And to the right, I think there's sunshine. Which way do I go? Cool, great, okay. I'm walking and I can see a bit better here. There's two paths, forward and right. Forward, there's clanking, and to the right, there's an eerie silence. Which way, even? Okay, <laughs> this is fun, even. We're going on an adventure together. Ooh, there's a robot workshop thingy here. The robots look really mean, but they also look like they're not turned on yet. Ooh, I could put my candy in their exhaust pipes, stuff it into their ears, or, or maybe I should just leave them be? You got it, even. Okay, I'm passing them, nice and quiet, but even, even they're waking up. It's like they can smell me or something. Oh, ah, they're coming after me! string back to where I started. Okay, so it's pitch black. I feel like I'm likely to... Cool. Great. Okay. I'm walking and I can see a bit better here. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I could put my candy in their exhaust pipes, stuff it into their ears, or or maybe I should just leave them be? <laughs> yes. I'll sabotage them. Okay, the candy is definitely gumming them up. And, ooh, they're staying down as I walk by. Perfect. Okay, now I'm in another clearing. I can go forwards or backwards. Okay, I'm doing it. I'm... and then we'll... No way! I can't stop my adventure now. Can you try finding another talkie thingy? Then you can help me more. Then you should go find one fast, huh? Okay, bye, even. They wouldn't. He was going to die. And they were going to die. And it was going to be much sooner than any of them expected. This is what happens, boys and girls, when you strike against your betters. You suffer. What? 
Good heavens and jumping pips might glad to be out of there. Who took the others so long to send you, lamb? I've never been in such a dreary... Mm, hold on a pip. That's a dice. Charmed, I'm sure. Now, I haven't seen a dice in ages. It does my heart good to see a live one out and about. It really does. And I'm glad to see you two have stuck together. Delightful. <laughs> Look, I've been alone for a long time. Oh, you've come further than anyone has come before, Lamb. <gasps> then they've become the manufacturer of a card. For you? Knock me down! <laughs> they have. Oh, indeed. So it shall, Lamb. I shall help you. <laughs> yes. Our last chance. Our last card. Our last heist. Let's do this. Oh, please, Lamb, don't ruin this for me. There's been precious little drama in my life of late. I need this. You'd be surprised how boring it is in a cell. Why, I'd be bored to death if I didn't have this glue secreting from my face to entertain me. Oh, better not stick around, Lamb. The alchemist does not like to wait. Oh, better not stick around, lamb. The alchemist does not like to wait. have just been carrying this, uh, this black goo coming from who my knows where. It's the will of the three headmasters, I tells ya. Well, hello there, out of towner. I know everyone around these parts. I have a six sense for it. My name's Benjamin Piper, and I'm a pop crawler. That means I keep all these pops clean. That's cause they are everywhere, and they carry everything. Well, at least they used to. Back in the day, they'd carry all sorts of mysterious things, wondrous and frightening. Water. Liquid hope stuff. Blue steak. And there's way more pops here than anywhere else in all of random. They run very deep far below the foundations of any of the six cities. Nobody can say for sure who built them or how far they go. But lately... Lately, these babies have just been carrying this, uh, This black goo coming from who my knows where. It's the will of the three headmasters, I tells ya. Why wouldn't she? It powers the robots, whatever it is. Runs through the engines of the kingdom. Even the arenas are tainted with it. Whatever its origin. The Queen's using it to make her regime run. And it's my job to crawl up there and keep them clean. So that's what I do. I have the strangest nightmares. Nah, nah, nah. I tried that in the early days of the Queen, but I lost both my sons for it. You cannot stop the flow. The goo just repairs it as soon as you do. 
It's pointless. So instead, I tend to him like I always have, in the hopes that one day the black goo will stop, and something more worthy of this wondrous public infrastructure flows inside it. Well, anyway, I should get back to inspecting this pipe here. Thanks for the chat, friend. as beautiful as it was hopeless. And it underlines the one universal truth. Haven could never defeat the queen. She'd sooner take the mountain with her breath than succeed. The card makers had given her a hopeless task. And the fools used to be in efforts, full of sound and fury, would amount to nothing. So weak and thin, so weak, filled with so many little, little bones. She climbed higher, mirroring her own hubris, and knew in the depths of her soul that she would fall. Biggest lies still take my advice. Kiss them before you toss them. Though I may have lost a coin or two, gambling my pouch away. Kiss them before you toss them. my book by chance have you seen my songbook sounds like something the thief would say but I guess there's a chance you're telling the truth too someone stole my book of songs my beloved book of music is missing and I can't find it if I could only have my songbook back I'd be deeply grateful <sighs> hint hint Is anyone there? Even! You're back! Some place where... Uh... I don't know where I am. It's a very strange place. Very sandy. Ugh. I don't like sand. Ah! Uh, there's a giant monster in front of me! And I think he's angry? Yep, he's definitely angry! Hey, even, uh, what do I need to know about swashbuckling in, like, ten seconds or less? I won't, even. I promise. Uh, wait. Heal? How? 
Here goes. He wasn't. In fact, both Eden and Bernie would soon be dead. Forgotten. Unmourned. Unloved. Their sad little lives amounted to nothing more than a footnote in a creature being's biography. Trash Lord! Behold! Ha! You are in the presence of the Trash Lord! Ha! Ha! Ah, another loyal subject. Some say trash is worthless. They're wrong! How can it be worthless when the Queen covets it so? Why would worthless trash be shipped from wherever it comes from? It doesn't make sense. Others say I am not a true lord, but merely a fiver who lost her mind after years of shoveling trash. They're wrong too. For how could I be trash lord if I were insane? Now, what can the trash lord do for you? Never! <laughs> you have offended the Trash Lord and be gone! Be gone forever! Howdy, stranger. Good day for a nice song, ain't it? <clears throat> okay. Busted. But you don't understand. You don't understand. The, the, the songbook, it's, it's contraband. The, the, the agents of the 90 Fortuna reward any good citizen who burns a book like this. So yes, I stole it, but then I decided to flip through it. And the songs, they're, they're gorgeous. And yes, they're all about dice. And yes, we're not supposed to sing them, but... <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I have music in my heart. Music of the dice. So what should I do? I can't bear to lose these songs. Well, you look like you can take me. Fine. Ruin my day just to give the book to someone who doesn't even share. Playing dice may be my biggest vice. 
still take my advice. Have you found my book by chance? Oh, you have. Let me see. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You've brought joy and music back into my heart. Listen. The next time you feel sad or down about yourself, just remember you made a complete stranger's life better, even just the once. And that's not something a bad person does. You're one of the good ones. It's you! My the one and only! Oh, and now, with my one and only son, too. Fiverr, meet? Well, actually, I never got your name, kid. Oh, Fiverr, meet even. Even? Meet Fiverr. Well, how'd you end up here, even? Incredible. Daring! Me? Why, after the storm killed our ship, I landed in... Well, I don't know where exactly. Someplace strange, far below random. Before I knew it, I'd been sucked up by this tube, dumped outside Forberg, and had to sneak aboard four different craft before I landed on the one that brought me here. Hey... Is that why they call it Four Town, you think? Because everything there takes four tries? Well, I'd like to think so. Even, do you know the Queen? Fiverr, don't be rude. Nobody knows the Queen. But she has a dice, and you said only the Queen has dice. Oh, that I did. Oh, but that's not true anymore, is it? <laughs> Hi, Dicey. He can talk. Dice are amazing. Have you really met the Queen? Like, for real met her? Oh, wow. Is she scary? I bet she's scary. Wow. Tell me more. It's good to see you again, even. Oh, I, I should have let you aboard sooner. I was afraid of losing what I had. Fear makes you behave like your worst self. But I see now it doesn't get you anywhere. Fear would have kept you in one croft, and kindness brought me back to my son. <laughs> you take care, even. Bye, even. Bye, talking guys. <laughs> Bye, Evan! Bye, talking guys! 
Even was never going to win, and she finally admitted that to herself. She already knew in her heart that her dreams were a lost cause. Oh, I feel sick, Dicey. You're right. I know you're right. But I just have this sudden inexplicable sense of dread. You know? I haven't seen the card makers in years. They never leave the factory anymore. Hey, what does the Queen call 25ers all buried up to their necks in work? A good start! Ha! Hello? Hello? Is anyone there? Hello? Even? Yeah, I sure did. I think I stepped on a trigger, and the monster disappeared under a humongous cube rock? Even, I'm somewhere new now. It's not like any place I've seen before. I don't know. There was a fall, even. And my string's gone now, too. But that's okay. I'm in a place where I'm surrounded by... Uh, uh, hey, they look like dice, even. A whole valley full of them? Oh, cool! That makes me feel better. Like, you're here with me now. There's some monsters here, too. Robots and the like. I don't know what they want. You've always been so nice to me, even. But you don't need to watch out for me anymore. I got this. You've brought me here, and you've given me some fighting tips. And I'm ready. I'm ready to do this on my own. Thank you, Even. So much. You've helped me a lot, you know that? First when I got stuck in that spooky ribcage prison. Oh boy. Then, with this adventure? And I'm who I am now because of who you were with me. I can face the world and find my own destiny in it, thanks to you. I don't think I will be. There's a... here among all the others, and... I think it wants to be friends? Oh, hello. <laughs> What's your name? Well, I'm gonna name you Dr. Cube Pants. Do you like that? <sighs> Despite the odds and her manifest incompetence, even has somehow bumbled into helping Bernard escape his still inevitable death. For now. Dealt a bad hand, have you? No, oh, never mind. Trade it in for a new one with me, old Manny Dex. Hello, Alchemist, uh, sir? Um, hello? I don't know, Dicey. Alchemist is just supposed to be here somewhere. It may have looked like he even knew what she was doing. But it was all a bluff, and she was going to get mortally wounded any second now. Oh, jeez! Oh, thanks. I believe in you too, Dicey. Oh. <sighs> 
Hey there, little one. Can you talk? Have you seen an alchemist around here somewhere? I dare say I have, little one. Every time I look in a mirror... You're the alchemist! Indeed I am! And I'd have thought the visionary would have sent a more impressive champion than you! Ugh, so old-fashioned! I'm not impressed. There's a lot more to being a dice wielder than merely wielding dice. I don't suppose you've learned that yet. Oh, believe me, there's no right foot here. I don't suffer fools or children. You are both! Ah, let me tell you what I do here. I take raw materials, ingredients, tinctures, essences, and use them to enable cards to do what they must. These days, of course, the Queen has us only making her cards, and for that I need only medals. Those are supplied by the garbage shipped from one craft. Ah, you're a one -er. Of course. You and your family's whole purpose has been to supply the raw materials to build the very robots that subjugate the rest of Random. Probably very depressing, even enraging, to find this out. All of you, made into unwitting collaborators of the Queen. Well, buck up. I shan't have you crying in my office. Now, I suppose you want me to make you a card to use in battle against said Queen. I don't doubt it. The visionary always did move in baffling yet eventually correct ways. Well, you know the Queen dwells in Sixtopia, don't you? Again? Rude! So then you must also know that Sixtopia is cut off from the rest of Random. You can't get there from here. From anywhere. Just that. It can't be reached by anyone in Random. You think we'd be cowering here in the ruins of our world if we could reach her and do something about it? Please, think like an adult! How do I... you don't know? But you've been... Gah! For crying out loud, you really are a child! I know more than most. I know her history, I know what she's done. And I know she can't easily be stopped. What I don't know is why she's doing this. You don't do the amount of insane she's done in this world unless there's something you want, or something you're afraid of. I do not know what that is. There are things even I don't know. I can't imagine there's any interest she couldn't sate with her power. I can't say. In all my studies, all I have determined is this. If there is indeed something the Queen fears, it isn't anywhere here in Random that I can detect. That leaves one option. It's inside her castle. In Sixtopia. And now you finally see my problem. I don't even know you. You're a little kid. I don't see why I should help you do anything. Your sister was taken by the Queen. Then your sister may no longer be recognizable as the woman she once was. And even if she is, she will not want to return. But as for the second half of your quest, it is noble, if impossible and foolish. And yet, and yet the others have helped you. The painter and gluer I could take or leave, but the visionary, he has earned my respect. And if he sees something in you that I don't, and I should trust his vision. Very well. I will help construct your card. Your so-called dream card. Please, you're a child. You dream of bedtime and sweets. I know all I need to. Now, step back. <laughs> <laughs> 